Welcome to Human TV Africa. You are watching Human TV Africa, and the program is Country Profiles. My name is Kato Mukasa. Interested in issues, humanism, human rights, and of course development, especially in Africa. You can subscribe. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, which is Human TV Africa, and also our Facebook name, it's Human TV Africa. Also, send us an email. Send us an email. The email is info at humanstvafrica.com. Also, our WhatsApp number is right there. Our communication office at Banka Baker in Kenya will be able to respond to you. We are an NGO. We are registered as an NGO working in different countries in Africa. We are in Zimbabwe. We are in Zambia. We are in Ghana. We are in Nigeria. We are in Uganda. We are in Kenya. And of course, we are in Sierra Leone. We are in the UK. And of course, we are in the US. We are a charity organization interested in empowering our people, interested in changing the narrative about Africa and giving us the right image that we deserve to be the people that belong to Africa. Remember all of us Africans, and today I bring to you Human's Profiles, and I'm going to talk about Rwanda. Rwanda. Rwanda is a small East African country, very, very small country. In East Africa, about 10,000 square miles, and it's a very a small country there, very lovely country. It began in the 15th century uh, as a, a kingdom, as a kingdom, as a kingdom, as a kingdom. Uh, began right there, you can see Rwanda. Uh, it was first of all a kingdom in the 15th century, the kingdom of Rwanda. And of course, in 1897, then keep on showing us the maps. In 1897, uh, you can see the neighbors of Rwanda. I'll give you a history. In 1897 to 1916, Rwanda was taken over by the German East Africa. Rwanda has neighbors, which include Uganda. It has neighbors. It's a very small country, as you can see. The neighbors are Uganda. Uh, the neighbors are there. And of course, uh, you can see uh, Tanzania. You can see a bit of, uh, thank you so much, that's a better map now, Angola, uh, Tanzania, uh, Zambia, uh, Kenya, and of course uh, Uganda, and Congo, and Central African Republic. Now these are the neighbors of Rwanda, thank you so much. It's a better map there to explain the neighbors of Rwanda. Now this is Rwanda, you can see the neighbors of Rwanda clearly, it's a very, very small country, I told you, it has only 10,169 uh, square miles. And of course, uh, it's a country that was originally under the control of the Germans. And the Germans, in 19, uh, 1916, the Germans uh, left it. And of course, uh, the Belgians took over until uh, independence in 1962. Rwanda has 85% um, of their population as Hutus. Give us more maps, please. Uh, has 85% of their people as Hutu. Kigali is the capital city. And now these are the uh, major towns in Rwanda, Kibuye, Agatarama, Gako, Kibunga, 
ya Kayonza, ya Butare, Gitongoro, Kigoma, and uh, uh, others, Byumba, Gabira, Tivunga, uh, Gishenyi. I've been to Rwanda several times, so I know Rwanda very well. It's a very, very good country. Uh, Rwanda has majority people who are Hutu, 85% are Hutu. The Tusi who are in power today are only 14%, and the Tua, the Tua are only 1%. Rwanda has a population of 13 million people. Rwanda has a population of 13 million people. The language in Rwanda is Kenya Rwanda, French, English, and Swahili. The language in Rwanda is Kenya Rwanda, French, English, and Swahili. We remember that um, the first leader there was um, Gregory Kaibanda, the first president in 1962 until 73 when Habi Alimana took over and Habi Alimana was assassinated in 1994. Habi Alimana was killed in 1994 by the RPF. That's the beautiful map of Rwanda. Beautiful map of Rwanda, blue, yellow, and of course that wonderful color right there. So we had a genocide, what I can tell you about Rwanda. Rwanda has minerals. Rwanda has minerals, very, very important minerals in Rwanda, but not so many minerals. If you compare Rwanda to Uganda and other countries, Rwanda has just a few minerals, basically uh, those um, uh, uh, rocks and other minerals. Has a bit of diamonds, yes, granite, diamonds, the rocks, uh, and um, of course, um, uh, those special special rocks and of course some bit of uh, diamonds in Rwanda. And if the map shows you where these minerals are found. Rwanda is also a richer country by the way, but it is a very gifted by by a very hardworking people, by a very honest people, and by of course a very tough leadership that fights corruption. Kagame has been part of Rwanda in the leadership since 1994 when Rwanda took over, changed government uh, from Habi Arimana to the RPF. Now, these are the top attraction areas in Rwanda. The Kigali Memorial and uh, Genocide Memorial Center. Remember I told you, Genocide was only for a hundred days, but over a million people were killed in Rwanda in only a hundred days. You know, so when I went to Rwanda, I visited the Kigali Genocide Memorial Center and I saw uh, what's there. It's quite beautiful to see the history of Rwanda. Remember, there was a genocide in 1994 where over a million people were uh, killed in just a hundred days. It is crazy. Now, we can see the Volcanic National Park. There is Neo at Gallery. There is Akagera National Park and Inema at Center, among others. When you go to Rwanda, yes, you're going to see a bit of animals, quite a bit of animals there. And you're going to see uh, a bit of uh, coffee, they have coffee, they have tea, they have uh, bananas. And of course, Rwanda is a beautiful country with the best environment you can think about. It has a very good environment there. Of course, tourism brings in much of the exchange rate, the foreign rate, foreign exchange comes from tourism. The Mohanga, the bus park, right there, very humble, but beautiful park. I've been to that one there. Rwanda has a very a beautiful road network. I should tell you, Rwanda has better roads than Uganda. Rwanda has um, a better organized administrative system than Uganda. In Rwanda, you can get your national ID in a matter of days. In Uganda, you take months to get it. Now, Rwanda is well administered. I should tell you, I should vote for Rwanda. Rwanda is much, much, much better, much well administered. Remember, with the better roads, with better environment, there are good people, Peaceful people, Rwanda is peaceful, I should say. Rwanda is very peaceful as I speak. And the environment in Rwanda is marvelous. The environment in Rwanda is marvelous, I should say. And Rwanda has one of the youngest populations in the world. 80% of people in Rwanda are below 35 years. Lake Kibbe is right there, one of the most uh, very beautiful lake right there in Rwanda. And of course, the environment, the vegetation, they have millet, they have uh, uh, cassava, they have bananas, they have all these crops you think about in Rwanda. Rwanda is a lovely country. It's much of the time hilly, 
so many hills in Rwanda. The weather is wonderful in Rwanda. The people are very welcoming in Rwanda. And of course, the government in Rwanda is what you can call the authoritarian government in Rwanda. But the environment in Rwanda is so beautiful. Crops grow. There's food in Rwanda, I should tell you. Regardless of not having so many minerals, Rwanda is so beautiful. Look at Bukomero. Bukomero. When you go to Bukomero, uh, take those photos there. Bukomero is another view, nice view, uh, towards a bit of Rwanda there. Now, these are the areas where you can go to Rwanda and enjoy sightseeing in Rwanda. Rwanda is a very peaceful country, but also very green. I love seeing so much green vegetation in Rwanda. There are so many animals in Rwanda, the giraffe, the lion, the elephants, and of course, um, the apes, such as the chimpanzees, all of them, you will find them in Rwanda. Rwanda is a tourist destination. Rwanda has cotton, Rwanda has coffee, Rwanda has tea, and of course, Rwanda has bananas. I love bananas. The gorillas are in Rwanda. You'll find them in Rwanda, and quite very impressive. you find that uh, the zebras, the gorillas, the elephants, uh, the lions are all in Rwanda. You'll find them there in Rwanda. I should say Rwanda is a peaceful country. Rwanda is a very welcoming country. It has all those uh, animals in their national park. Rwanda is a small country, but a very, very lovely country. I should say the zebras, they are living their environment. And the country is peaceful. And the country is developing thanks to Akagame's Iron Fist administration. No corruption. The giraffe is there. Rwanda is the only country in East Africa where you cannot simply pass on corruption. You cannot simply bribe an officer. If you're a government worker, you must deliver. It is in Rwanda. Rwanda is less corrupt if you compare to with any other East African country. Rwanda's administration is very, very authoritative but delivers results. Paul Kagame has been in charge of Rwanda since 1994, but he has changed the terrain of Rwanda. That is Giseni in Rwanda. Look at Giseni, Rwanda. Very beautiful place. I've been to Giseni. Very, very beautiful place. Beautiful people, humble people. People in Rwanda are very humble, so very soft-spoken, and are very welcoming. I should say, I enjoyed uh, staying in Rwanda, at least for that part. Regardless of their challenges, regardless of the authoritarian nature of um, Kagame as a leader in Rwanda, is very authoritarian, but Rwanda has an amicable and amiable people. The fruits are there, the green vegetation there, the fruits, the mangoes, the oranges, the all these tomatoes, cabbages, everything, onions are there. But RPF, the Rwanda Patriotic Front, of Rwanda has been at the helm of Rwanda since 1994. The country is much militarized, I should tell you, I should warn you. When I was in Rwanda, every now and again, I would see soldiers on the streets. They are training so hard. They have been in combat, fighting in two regional wars. Rwanda has been engaged in so many regional conflicts. Their soldiers are always alert. I've been to Rwanda and find so many soldiers in the streets of Rwanda, in Kigali. So security-wise, Rwanda is very conscious. That is Paul Kagame, the leader of Rwanda since 1994. That man has been there. He has a cabinet, the one of the cabinets in Africa that has more women. Rwanda's cabinet has more women. About 50% of the cabinet of Rwanda actually has women, which is a credit to Paul Kagame's leadership. It promotes women presence in politics, yet at the same time, we see women also being denied to participate at a presidential level. That's the parliament of Rwanda. They have a senate, they have a parliament, and they do their decisions, more so in a transparent manner. I told you there are more women in leadership in Rwanda than actually in Uganda. There are more women in leadership in Rwanda than in Kenya, than in Sudan. There are more women politicians in Rwanda today Cabinet members, as you can see, has a number of women. I can count about seven women in that cabinet against, of course, uh, nine men, which is about 40 to 60 ratio. 40% women and 60% are men. You can see they are giving opportunities to women to feature in leadership 
and Rwanda has a lean government. Rwanda has a lean government. Kagame has been ruling Rwanda in what many critics say it is an authoritarian dictatorship. We call it unitary presidential uh, republic and uh, what we call a, an authoritarian dictatorship. And of course, uh, Diana Rigala, one of the opposition members in Rwanda, came out in 2017 May and declared her quest for power. She wanted to be a president of Rwanda. She was arrested and tortured and her life has been miserable since then. Diana Rigala, an example of persecution of political dissent. If you want to challenge Kagame, don't dare in Rwanda. So Kagame has been an iron fist judah. They have said he is an authoritarian leader. They have called Rwanda an authoritarian dictatorship, and I agree with them. Rwanda is a clear example of an authoritarian dictatorship. But regardless of that, regardless of the dictatorship in Rwanda, regardless of Kagame shutting opposition down, Rwanda has done a few things right. Rwanda has done a few things right. Rwanda has reduced corruption, and Rwanda has increased human development index in Rwanda, human happiness in Rwanda, of course, GDP. GDP is doing much better. Their debt rate, not so good. Their debt burden is rising because Kagame has been borrowing some of the monies to do the infrastructure. The debt burden in Rwanda is rising. But regardless of that, Rwanda is a promising country in Africa. You can benchmark it in terms of good administration. They have cows, the long horned cows of Rwanda. They have those long horned cows of Rwanda, which is of course found in Uganda. You can also find them in Burundi, the huts of Rwanda, traditional huts of Rwanda, which are also found in Kenya, which are also found in Uganda. They have their special dances. Rwanda has their own special dances. They dance reflecting the image of the cow. I love the Tina Rwanda dance. Very soft dance, very cultural. Rwanda is small, but trust me, when you go to up country in Rwanda, you're going to find vast pieces of land for you. So if you want to invest in Rwanda, you should say, yes, go and invest in Rwanda, but don't talk about politics. Go invest in Rwanda. It's green. Rwanda is green. Anything can come out from the land in Rwanda. Rwanda is green. It's fatal. Go invest in Rwanda, but don't talk about politics. That is Kigali, Rwanda. Very beautiful city, small city on the hills, but very beautiful city. Nice city. I should say Rwanda is the cleanest country. Kigali is the cleanest city in East Africa. Very clean. They have the Kigali Arena, which is about 10,000 people. The Kigali Arena is about 10,000 people. Very beautiful arena right there in Kigali. And of course, they have these other facilities, the arena, the football arena, athletics. Rwanda is also coming up with uh, so many sports activities. Rwanda is a beautiful country, I should say. I've been there. I can watch for it. It is peaceful, though we call it a peaceful dictatorship. If you're in Rwanda, don't talk about politics, I should warn you. Don't talk about Paul Kagame, I should warn you. Do other things. Rwanda is less corrupt than Uganda. Uganda is more corrupt. Kenya is more corrupt. Rwanda is less, less corrupt. Public officials in Rwanda don't ask for bribes. I've been there. I've been there. They are tough on corruption. Public officers are in their offices every day and all the time of work. Kagame has been very strong on, on administration. I give him that credit. You can get your national ID in Rwanda if you have the qualifications. If you're in the right books of the government, you can get your ID in seven days in Rwanda. And you cannot do that in Rwanda. So in terms of leadership, Rwanda has been very credible. In terms of display, Rwanda has been regional wars where actually they have rooted gold and timber from other countries like Congo, but they have used it to develop Rwanda. Rwanda is shining. It's a good example of a small country that can manage. Rwanda does not lack food. You will never hear that Rwandese lack food. They always have enough to eat. 
Rwanda is clean because there is Omuwan. When I was in Rwanda, there was days where we could go, all seasons go and clean roads. I was in Rwanda and I pastored in Omuwan, where people go and clean roads. You don't wait for people from the central government to help you. You do it as a village. You do it as a yard, a ward, a zone, a parish. You go and clean the city. You go and clean the roads. Rwanda has very clean roads, no potholes, very, very welcoming people and very quiet people. Very respectful people. They love their culture and they want this there. Please, if you fear Rwanda about the genocide, the genocide is above, is now behind them. They are above the genocide. The genocide happened so many years ago. That was 1994 in April. And it took 90, it took a hundred days. It ended. The Rwanda Patriotic Front Stroke Movement under Tafman Paul Kagame has led leadership so 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 better, at least for those citizens who want to be outside politics, who want to invest. If you're an investor, Rwanda is your destination because the system there is less corrupt. It will work for you. The market is a bit small. They have only 13 million people, but business can do better in Rwanda, I should tell you. Why? The government is less corrupt. And the people are more pro-Rwanda. They want to support more of their products as people in Rwanda. So Rwanda, small country, beautiful country, hilly country, with some of its best, best tourist destinations. Rwanda with one of the youngest population in the world becomes a better country I can watch for. Remember to subscribe to Human CV Africa. The link is right there. Subscribe to Human CV Africa. Human CV Africa is your number one TV channel that is going to change the image about Africa. Africa is not dying. Rwanda is not under genocide. Rwanda has recovered and recovered well. Go visit Rwanda. And of course, remember to subscribe to Human CV Africa. My name is Katomo Kasa in the studio. It was Dennis Bongole doing the work. Thank you so much. See you in the next one. Chimbukola wana dam chenchenya tamatu